Hey everybody, um, just wanted to take the time to compare the new Corbin seat I just got to the stock seat. You can see both are there. Um, biggest changes, stock, basically, if you look at it, it goes straight up like a U. The new Corbin seat, it's flat throughout this part, and then it goes up at the very end. Um, it sets your riding position back a little bit, um, but the pan's a lot wider. I like it a lot more gives me a little bit more room to move around in. As you can tell, it's a lot wider on the, uh, the back end. And it's a lot softer. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say it's softer. I'd say it's got more support. Because after riding on the Corbin for a bit, I could tell that there's less padding there. But it's comfort foam, so it's a lot more dense. And it works out pretty well. As you can see, if we flip these over, it's made a lot better. Um, you have to transfer the brackets, of course, so this seat doesn't have brackets anymore. But you can see it's handmade. It's nice. This one's stapled. This one's not. Makes me feel a little more comfortable that I spent $300 for a seat, but you know. This one, you can't really tell the difference, but the inner pan is, uh, or the inner part is leather, and the outer is vinyl. You can tell just a little bit because, here let me switch to a closer focus range. If you look closely, you can tell the vinyl's a different pattern than the leather. Uh, you have to get vinyl on the sides just because if you got leather on the sides after, you know, a little bit, it would start to tear. So I hope this helps anybody who wants to buy a seat. I'd recommend it so far. Um, good luck.